Hey guys, Target Cycle and FPV, and I'm actually getting ready to work on a DJI Phantom. It's a Phantom 3 here, but this is going to apply to Phantom 3, Phantom 3 Standard, Phantom 4, uh, Phantom 3 Pro, and so forth. We'll just keep going on. Um, anyways, uh, so what we've got here, I'm just going to go straight to it. Let me go ahead and do a split screen here. Uh, let's see if we can do that. Okay, so here we go. Is the, Here's the Phantom, and this is one of the ones I just ordered. Now watch what happens, okay? Um, here goes. Pay attention. Okay, see it? See how the camera's just kind of going crazy here, right? And what'll happen is sometimes it'll just slam back and forth. Sometimes it'll get paused like this, but you can hear the gimbal grinding. And what's happening is it's gonna actually, the motor's gonna, the gimbal's gonna start overheating. It can't function properly like this. And I'm gonna show you how to, how to fix this. Now I will tell you that it's a very simple fix, right? But let me just show you, if yours is slamming back and forth, like left and right, left and right and all that, it's the same problem. I'm gonna show you how to fix it real quickly. So here's what we're gonna do. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and power this down. Save the motor, okay? All right. Now I'm going to try to uh, position this camera properly, so bear with me as I do this because uh, I'm going to have to unscrew. So, what we want to do first, the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and we want to remove these screws, okay? Now, uh, let me see if there's a way I can do this. I'm going to try to angle this to where I can do this properly and try to set the camera for you to be able to see without causing too much problem here. So, let me Bear with me a second, guys, and just want to get this lined up properly. Uh, let's see how I can do this without it falling off my bench. Okay, so let's just try it like that. Let's see if I can kind of do this work. Okay, the first thing you want to do is let's just go ahead and remove these screws. All right, now keep in mind, sorry, keep in mind when you remove these screws, there are three screws that are thinner. The top three screws are thin. The bottom three screws are wider, so just make sure you don't try to jam the wider screws into the top spot. And if you put the thinner screws in the bottom two holes, they'll just kind of fall in there, and then it's kind of a pain to get them out. But let's just go ahead and remove these real quick. And I apologize for my messy bench. I wasn't intending on putting a phantom on here today, but um, at my fat fingers, taking these screws off is not as easy as you might think when you got snossage fingers like me. All right, so that's two of the three thin screws. The third thin screw is gonna be this middle one here. I'm just gonna go ahead and unscrew that real quick. And I've been seeing all these, I mean, these threads have been, they're there for a while, but it's, oh, my camera slams back and forth. The gimbal just goes back and forth and then I get an error that it, the gimbal uh, is overheating or what have you. Okay, these are the two wider screws in the bottom here. Okay, so just pay attention to these ones again. Uh, don't try to put these in on the top or we'll end up re-threading. Uh, all right, so let's put those bigger ones here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this back plate off. Okay, now look, this is the most important part. Here's the, here's the issue right here, okay? Um, this board right here, right, it has a flat area, which you can see is this. Let me see if I can get something a little bit sharper to point with. I'll try to use maybe these tweezers, for example. If you see right here is this grayish looking straight bar that goes straight across then you have this half rounded area okay this is the part that we're going to be focused on so the first thing we're going to do is you are going to gently very gently pull this board off okay and i mean all we're doing is lifting it off these posts right here okay but keep in mind that you have ribbon you have a ribbon right here and you have one underneath this board so do not go gorilla on it and ripping it all over the place be very careful especially towards the edge here because this will give you the most resistance at times so just kind of try to wiggle it off if you can uh, just like that. There we go. Okay. Now, the next thing we want to look at is I'm going to try to push this board out of the way. Here's the most important part. Here's what's causing your problem. Okay. Let's see if I get this board. I don't want to unplug these cables. So I don't have to. So let me just kind of push them aside. Okay. So if you look right here, you can see the, um, you see this metal piece right here, right? Right here. Okay. And you, this is the flat section and this is the rounded section. Okay. This flat section, when this camera is perfect like this, all right, which means that it's in it's perfect horizontal to the, well, if this drone was sitting straight up, this would be horizontal to the table, okay? When that does it, that flat piece on this round area needs to also be horizontal. Let me see if I can zoom in on that just a little bit and you'll understand more. You see how it's a circle there, but there's a flat edge right here, right? This flat edge, when this camera is horizontal, all right, or parallel to the table, this flat edge right here needs to be parallel as well. As you can see here, it is turned to the left quite a bit, okay? So the first thing you need to do is you need to 
take your camera and you're going to take some, uh, let's just say some pliers. It's very easy. This isn't anything major to do. But you're going to take some pliers, right? And you're going to, I got to try to fit in here while keeping this on camera. Let me see what it is. You just want to kind of hold it. And while you're holding it, turn the camera and try to work it to where when the camera is, would be uh, horizontal and parallel to the table. Now you can see we've already moved it up quite a bit, right? So if you look at that, we just need to go a little bit more to where it's literally parallel to the table or basically parallel with the top of the camera. Okay, so we're gonna do it again. So I'm just gonna grab it some more, all right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get it to where it's perfectly straight up and down like this, where it's parallel to the table. And I'm gonna turn the camera now to get the camera parallel to the table. So let me just show you how this is gonna work. I'm gonna take this here. I've got the flat edge and I'm just gonna turn the camera and I'm gonna keep doing it until I get this parallel. Sorry, trying to do this and keep the camera on it is not the easiest thing. It'll be a lot easier if you're just doing this do it. But look now what we've got, okay? Now if you look at that flat, here's my camera, which is parallel. We've got just a little bit more to go, all right? So I'm gonna do one more turn where it's just right there, parallel, just like that. And I'm gonna turn the camera And I'd say we're pretty close there. So if you look now, right, and I'll try to get the camera to get a better angle of this. Let me move it a little bit. If you look now, right, you can see that flat edge. It's almost a little, it may be a little too much corrected the other way now. Let me go ahead and set it back. Sorry, let me get the camera set. Apologize. It's very, it's, it's interesting. I don't usually have a camera set up for this angle when I do my RMAs. All right, so it's a little too much now. It's very close though. I'm going to bring it back just a tad. All right, so let me just, I'm just going to bring it back just a tad here. All right. All right, so let's look at the camera now. And I think that that's pretty good. All right, so what I'll do now is let's, uh, if you look at this, what we want is we want this straight edge here to be pretty much straight in line with this, right? So when this goes, this goes, right? Perfect. I think this is going to be great. All right, now what we wanna do is we wanna go back to our board here. And remember, we have this piece right here, which is also a straight edge, okay? This straight edge needs to line up with the one that's on this bar right here, okay? On this, on this little metal piece. So we're gonna turn this to just like that to where it's straight up. And we're gonna, line, we're gonna get our camera lined up straight. And we're just going to take this board and try to fit it back on be very careful. Let me zoom out now. All right, like that. With the camera in the position we want it, we're gonna try to get this board to fit back on. And you gotta be really careful with this one because you've gotta fit it over the post and you do not wanna, you don't wanna do what I just did and put it on the first post there. You wanna kinda of make sure you spread it over so you can reach the other side, okay? And if you get it right, there you go. You see, now what we've got is we've got the flat piece here lined up with the flat piece here now, and we've got the camera parallel. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our cover, put it back on, just like that. And remember, whoa, oh, uh, guys, I'm gonna pause this real quick. That's my son calling. You... All right, guys, sorry about that. That was my son, and I wanna take this call. So anyways, okay, now that we're doing this, we're gonna go ahead and put our uh, screws back in. Uh, remember the big or fatter screws, the wider screws will go on the bottom. So let's just go ahead. I'll try to do that with this camera angle like it is. Okay. There we go. Okay. Do the second one the same way. And then we'll put the thinner screws at the bottom. I mean at the top, sorry. One in the middle and then two on the top corners. We got one more to go. Okay. Now with that done, let me get the tools out of the way. <clears throat> and let's get this to power back on. So let me move 
I'm going to make you look at my pretty face here for a second while I adjust everything. So sorry about that. I know it's a, it's not fun, but just hang tight so I can get this camera loaded back up properly. So you can see, let me get that. All right, I think that should be good. So let's go ahead and uh, let's do this here. Here we go. All right, so I know it looks like it's crooked. I wish I should straighten it out actually. Let's try that and see how that does for you guys, okay? So um, there's the camera now, and now I'm gonna go ahead and power it back up and watch this time. If everything went well, this should calibrate perfectly. So here we go. Look at that. Moving perfectly, it did its all, and look at that, it's perfectly centered. All the stuff is now fixed. This has been corrected. And I'm gonna tell you, I have a Phantom 4 here. What got me started on this was the Phantom, uh, sorry, the Phantom 3 Pro was slamming back and forth super hard, right? And so I automatically did that fix, but I didn't record the entire fix. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna set this DJI to do this somewhat of the same thing, this Phantom uh, 3 standard, and show you guys the fix. The fix is identical, whether it's slamming back and forth, whether it's just whoppy jawed, whatever it is, you do the same thing and everything works out perfect. Okay, guys, I hope that helps you. This will save you a ton of money. Just do it at home. It's such an easy fix. It doesn't require anything but one a tiny Phillips screwdriver and one small set of pliers. The rest of it is just you doing it, taking the time to do it, save yourself a ton of money. All right, look, that's it for today. We're getting ready to move to our new warehouse. We're going to be packing up inventory today. Remember, we got a new, it's almost nine acre square foot, nine acre facility uh, grounds with a, with a new uh, indoor facility as well for all your drone and all your RC cars are coming, fixed wings are coming, everything. So uh, it's going to be real exciting. And today is July 18. 2021. I want to give a special shout out to my son Jaden. Today is his 10th birthday and even though I won't see you today bud I want you to know that I love you very much and I'm extremely proud of you and you make me proud to be a dad to my other two boys Ashton and Landon. Hope you guys have a blast today with him. Yeah, are going paintball shooting. Go have some fun and I'll see you guys next week. God bless. Everybody else go spend some time with your family guys. You never know how much time you have left so please go make the most of it. Trust me. That time can be taken away very quickly. Go make the most of it. You can always fly later, okay? Please subscribe to our channel, guys. It means a lot to me. And other than that, God bless, guys. Have a great week, and we'll talk to you soon. Peace.